Hey guys, this is Tath, and I uh, wanted to share a game with you that I found over Twitter uh, through the developer who made it, uh, Portly Games. Pretty cool game. Um, I just bought a copy of this, and it occurred to me that there are lots of people on my feed who have kids, um, and my kids love this game. So, uh, wanted to show it to you. It's really silly. Um, but here, let's just show the intro reel. Um, it kind of tells the, the starting of the story. Uh, basically, you know, it's, it's a very simple story. It's these creatures, I want to call them portlies. Um, I don't know what they're actually called. Frolicking in the field and along comes the, uh, villains. Because every game needs a villain, right? Dun dun dun! to drag away the frolicking creatures. And so, what you do in this game is uh, you basically solve puzzles to save your friends. See these two guys? What just happened, man? We shall go save them. Frolic! Aggressive frolicking. <laughs> so, I'm just going to show you the first three levels. Uh, they're really simple. This is kind of an intro to sort of give you a feel for what the game is like. It's very simple. You collect the fruits and you push the eggs into the place where they hatch. And then <laughs> the feeding! I actually had to explain to my daughter that birds feed their, uh, their young that way. We don't do that. Yeah, but, you know. And so there's some... Uh, level 3 isn't just an egg thing. There's something else. So I wanted to show all three levels. But it's got all of the basic mechanics of a top-down puzzler. Uh, you know, pushing blocks and different terrains and stuff. Um, I actually really like the art in this. I like how it's just very uh, silly and giddy, very uh, upbeat sort of feel to the game. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Burm. Uh oh, I missed one. I forget that. And because babies require lots of food, right? All the food. <laughs> so I said you were going to be rescuing friends, and this is the part where you do that. Because you can see all of them are captured, and uh, I probably could have solved this puzzle a lot faster and a lot more simply, but I just kind of pushed it around. And then that one, and then that one, and then that. For some reason, when I first played this level, I thought you were going to have to smash the ice that that thing is in, or the glass, or whatever that is. But no. It's just a block, and you push it into place. Which is... There we go. And done. Now, clear the path. Give me the key! Okay. And... It's funny how the eyes are constantly looking around at you. There we go. And that's the first three levels. Uh, very simple. It gets more complicated as you go. I uh, have that five second clip of me dying in the very next level. Uh, but that's it. Um, that's... Do, do, do. So, give it a, a, a... Check it out. And uh, check out Work and Wembley on Steam. And I will drop a link in the YouTube video thing. And I know this video is really kind of hastily put together. I've never done anything like this. So um, I usually just do playthroughs and stream them and, and whatnot. But I wanted to do something different for this one uh, to kind of give a shout out because not a lot of people are making games like this anymore. And I love this game. So give it a look. Check it out on Steam and uh, tell me what you think. So, bye.